Well, welcome to Founding Father of Humankind. That's what I named my ship. I'm not really sure uh, how we founded humankind here on a ship when we're too busy fighting the fronts against the automatons and the bugs. I love squashing bugs. Anyways, it seems as though Helldivers 2 has been blowing up recently, and apparently I've been blowing myself up along with that. Oh yeah, this is going to be a good one. At least 20 kills. Uh, yeah, so uh, when you're playing in the higher difficulties or some of the other worlds, you get some negative effects on your stratagems, and in that case, it's called scatter stratagems, and they don't always call in or come in exactly where you call them. Yeah, it leaves... It leads to some painful moments. But anyways, I had some comments or questions rather on my previous videos. There were people were asking if I could show them a full playthrough, but I think what they were really asking is they wanted to see a full mission instead of just some highlights. So I figured if we're going to do something like that, let's go on the highest difficulty possible, Helldiver difficulty, and I'm going to do it solo. I want to see if it's possible for myself. But before that, I should show you exactly what I'm going to be using in the video because I know people will be asking. So for my primary weapon, I'm using the Breaker Shotgun, which is apparently, as I'm being told, probably the best gun in the game currently. So if you're playing solo, good to use this. For my secondary, just using the Redeemer Pistol. I haven't unlocked anything else recently because I don't really use them too much. And a normal grenade. And something I can't stress enough is the Light Armor. In this case, the Trailblazer Scout outfit. Because it gives you a ton of stamina and speed, and it reduces the range at which enemies can detect the wearer by 30%. Now, obviously, if you're trying to do stuff solo on the higher difficulties, this will help you a lot so you don't draw aggro from every single mob that's on the map. And uh, you can kind of sneak through and maneuver your way around the map. Because if you bring up your map, your enemies will actually be pinged on the map so you can kind of get an idea of where people are. But yeah, I figured I'd show you the loadout because I know people will probably be asking. And uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Give me a hug and I'll catch you in the next one. Engaging orbital thrusters. There's quite a few people around here, huh? Look at that. I just, I love that. I love the fact that you can see other players' ships. Like, these are not the actual players, right? They just kind of put in placeholders here, I'm sure. But uh, you can actually see the fact that they are here fighting for this area on the planet. I just think that's really neat. I don't know how easy this is going to be solo. Oh yeah, because I have to do the fuel pump, I have to do the power generator, I even have to do the launch codes. This is going to be a lot, this is going to be a lot. I'm wondering if we start... Yeah, I don't know. I can't do the escape pod, there's no way, because I have to stand still in order to do that. You need a team for that one. So I'm thinking maybe we start with launch codes and then we go to the bottom right, and then up top, or... It's all kind of far, isn't it? Or maybe we start bottom right, then we go top left. Yeah. Let's try that. Okay. Now that I don't need to take out eggs, I don't have to bring in the grenade launcher. And I can probably bring in the railgun. The question is, what else do I want? Wiping out squads would be nice. So maybe with the orbital laser, perhaps? Could also do a cluster, but these these don't always come in exactly where you call them. I think a railgun would be best. And of course, a stamina upgrade. Let's try this. Like you can see people calling in stuff on the background there. That's cool. Okay, this is the fuel pump then. So let's get this stuff in first. I got the right gun this time. I think when my game crashed, it, uh, it reset everything. Real guns on on safe mode. Ooh, right. Let's go this guy first. 
will be a quick one. There we go. Of course there's a bug breach. Why wouldn't there be a bug breach? <laughs> of course there is. And it's these guys too. It's nothing. Oh, these guys are going to be tough. All right, let's get back to the mission area. Coming in hot. Things chase my legs here. You will never destroy our way of and that's nine. Okay, it's not about the samples, but I also can't just pass them up when they're sitting there. This is going to be no joke this run. Oh, okay. That should be a good one. Uh, I think, wait, I think it died. <laughs> okay, it did die. It did in fact die. Let's live with, what does this look like up close? Interesting. It almost looks like the charger in a way, but just bigger. And now it's going to tell us to do the fueling stuff. Uh, adjust it to the silo. Okay, I've never done this one before. Um... There we go. Little puzzle. I like that. Okay, 2A, 2B, 1B. So we can do this before anything else comes in. Oh no, didn't do it all the way. Now we should be able to activate this. Complete? Okay, now we don't have to fight anything else. I really hope there's not a lot of, a lot of these things later. And stay dead. Okay, we've fueled up. Let's resupply the ammo. Now let's go to the top left there, grab the launch codes. I think this is the one where you just have to get the launch codes. You don't have to actually carry the, like, carry the codes over. If it's that one, it's going to be very rough. Let's see, there's a patrol over there. But the nice thing about this armor is it reduces my threat level by 30%, so they probably won't even see me from there. I'm sure there's mushrooms laying around here somewhere as well. Those are generally on the outskirts of the map, though. There are little red lights in the distance. Generally, you can see them. I hear something up there. Oh, yeah, there's a nest up here. So let's keep to the left. Oh boy. There's more there as well. I wonder if we can sneak through the center. If we can't, it's going to be rough. There's something here. 
There certainly is, but I'm not going for that. Yeah, I'm kind of with people. I, I do wish that there was a first person mode only. Maybe not necessarily a mode, but just a set a setting. Oh, I don't want to fight this thing. Am I in another nest here? Might be able to avoid them. I don't think they're alerted. The music says otherwise. Charger there. But you know, just being able to make it so that you can run around in first person if you want to. Because it doesn't really hurt anybody. Oh, it's a stalker nest up here. Did I learn anything? Nope. We're okay. okay launch codes over here. So I think I have to call this one in. Come on, reload it. Oh no. For prosperity. Let the kiting begin. It's two stalkers. Okay, I gotta be aware of these guys. I want to get them all in one spot so I can take out this guy. Oh my goodness, reload the gun. That's always my downfall. Okay. He's kind of coming this way. Stalker's over here. He's thinking he's being nice and stealthy, but he's not. Titan got me. That's not good. Might be able to land on him though. No, I certainly cannot. Okay, now we're in a. Now we're down bad here. It's okay. Should hopefully hit him. Come on, right in the forehead. Oh, See, something I noticed a long time ago, the Titans actually help you. If there's a bunch of bugs on you, wherever they spit, they actually deal damage. Okay, we gotta find the launch codes. I'm pretty sure they're down here. Yep. I thought this was the one you had to call in, but I guess not. We got time, we got time. I need my ammo. Stalker. Two stalkers. Twenty nine minutes to go. We got plenty of time. Tagging map, northeast. 
We gotta go up here, and then we go down, I think it was southeast after this. Tell you what, I really noticed the stamina drain on this planet. Definitely gonna keep up my stamina as much as possible though. See, like imagine you were running around like this. See, my last video, if anyone caught that, I had a bug where I was uh where I was able to run around. It didn't matter the weapon, like even when I swapped off my weapon, I was always running around. I could sprint in first person and everything. I just it made it feel really cool, but man, it would be kind of difficult to like always turn around and shoot, and there'd be lots of flicking. stalkers. I swear this is the only planet that gives them away. We're all gonna make short work of them though. Okay. Um. You know what? I oh, know I'm saving the nuke. We'll draw aggro. Yep, I knew it was good to good idea not to do that. We're gonna have to get around a mountain here. Yeah, there's a lot. You will never destroy our way of life. Oh boy. That was quite a few. Oh, my cooldown is still one minute. Oh, this is the special one. I'll grab that after. I gotta be careful of these chargers. Okay, and the stalkers, apparently. I gotta grab the ammo quick. Next to a stalker lair. Okay, it wants me to log in. Last reload. Resupply is coming in shortly. Maybe we can go back and grab those samples real fast. Since we dragged everything away. Was that the mountain was down there? How much time do I got? I need this. One minute on this. Take care of that guy quick. If I get rid of this guy quick, then this will be so much easier. No, the stalkers. There's more. There's always more. He broke through the shield. 
Look at this, man. 10 seconds on this. If I can get the orbital laser, that'd be fantastic. How about a nice cup of liver tea? Let's drag them away, and then I can run downhill. A little bit chitin. Oh, there's a nuke here. Oh my god, this is perfect. Yes, 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 yes. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Oh, shoot, I'm on the... Oh! I knew there was a stalker lair. I have three grenades. Maybe it's enough. That's gotta be it. There we go. And we're dragging them all away, which is great. Don't really want to use the nuke right now. So let's use the laser. Might give me enough time to do this sequence. I go back for the ammo real fast. Freedom forever. That was a lot of kills. See, this is why I choose the laser. Let's grab the samples real quick. So if you're ever looking for those really good samples, the supers, they're always around a rock that looks like this. Just in case you were wondering. Lots of kiting going on here, lots of kiting. What would I do without this shield? I think I'd be ruined. Get the fuel going. Signal's good. Stalkers really do come out of nowhere, don't they? Say hello to democracy. What was that sound? Fire in the hole. Get some. Get some. Okay, what do I have to do? I just have to pull the transformer. That's easy. Then we have to go over to the nuke side and pretty much do all this all over again. Oh no, there's a bug breach. Okay, we're done that. Now we leave. You know what? Let's pop a stem and keep going. I think there's more ammo over here as well. So we should be alright. There we go. Okay, let's keep going. I 
I might actually unlock the revolver pistol. Might be my next unlock. Because I think for versing those guys, it might be it might be okay to use. Because that way you can run away and you can still shoot them. Like the two, uh, you know, the breaker, the, the, my main weapon, for example. I can't do that with. Is there any goodies over here? Certainly not. Stalker. So far, we're doing all right. Resupply isn't far. Can rotate back over to that. Empty. Yeah, this shield generator is too good for this. I don't know what else I would do without it. Ow, he hit me. Oh boy. Okay, we've got to log into the control system. My orbital laser is gone now. We, we don't have it anymore. That sucks. That sucks a lot. got to get them away from the control panel. Might be okay. It might be a good one. Get some, get some. Five. That's all I got was five. Oh, that was worthless. They're just going to keep coming. I'm going to use one of the stims. Maybe I can somehow do this. I don't know. Oh, the login takes forever. Yeah, I don't know if I can do that. I'm going to have to rotate them around. And there's a bug breach. Fantastic. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to drag them really far away and then come back, I think. It's the only thing I can think of doing. Also, I really need that ammo. There, I got him to stay there for a moment. It's one down. See, I don't think you can one-shot these guys. They are very tough. I have nothing else. Oh, that was close. The launch code part is going to be the worst. So I think I have to wait till he starts spitting in order to try and take him out. Okay, one more rotation around. Uh, oh, there's a patrol down there. Okay, let's do it this way then. Throwing grenade. <gasps> Jesus, where do these guys come from? Oh, 
I wanted to fully charge him. Couldn't. Come on, big guy. What you got? You want some more? I think he likes it. Oh, we missed that. That's not ideal. Two, seven, one, one, three. Oh, I got it though. I, sh I played that really risky. I could have came back off of it and went back in. Oh, I might die here as well. We got 14 seconds of the bomb though. Tighten down. Freedom forever. Max empty. And we have a bug breach. Fantastic. Charger dead. Oh, there's so many bugs over there. Oh, this is going to be really rough. They broke my shield. Gotta keep running. I need my shield back, please. Get some! Get some! It's just these leapers, really. Anything else is not too difficult. Because you can kind of outrun them. Oh, I should stop dragging them around that. Oh, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Still some ammo there. Ow, man. That's what we like to see. Big booms. No, there's another Titan. Not ideal. We can do this. We 100% can do this, but there's only 10 minutes left. Let's drag everything away. Chuck a bunch of grenades. I should be utilizing everything that I have before I reload, but I'm just not doing that. Bait him into a spit. I should hit him there. Nuked him. Okay, we're actually slowing them down here. This is great. I think I got... Okay, I lied. Another bug breach. <laughs> I 
Use the terminal to open a uh, oh, silo hatch. Okay. We can get rid of these guys, or some of these guys at least. Also gotta get rid of this charger in a second. Can't risk being hit right now. Oh boy, we got another one. Have a taste of democracy. We don't have very long. One minute on the bomb. Yeah, so that's how you stop him from spitting, but... I need ammo. We can't risk this. Oh, those are samples. Uh, is there ammo here? I have to do the coordinates, too? I have seven minutes for this. 20 seconds on bomb. On, reload the gun. Oh, it's not even gonna hit him. Oh, it did hit him directly. Beautiful. Okay, we gotta go right for the codes. E2. fuel in progress. Beautiful. I actually think I'm taking too long to do all this stuff. I could probably do it a little bit quicker, but we're kind of doing our best, you know? Stressful situation here. He can just run right over that, huh? Listen, mister. I'm cheating. Okay. Launch. And we're out. Beauty. Oh god, we might die. Yep. Oh, the timing of that was awful. My shield just went down. I need those samples, though. Come on. Kill everything. 19 kills. Beauty. Who is that thing, man? Ooh. Five minutes remaining. We gotta run. As soon as I run out of stamina, pop a stim because I'm a little bit low. It gives you full stamina again. Nice thing is, is I should be able to just outrun these things now. I don't believe I have to fight them. It's looking like a close one, though. Because it's going to take two minutes to come back in, so I'm not going to be able to call in any eagle strikes or anything. 
gonna be a survival mission. How long? Two minutes. I wonder if any bugs will actually come over here. A crouch, maybe they'll just pass right by. Yeah, because they can't detect me. Or can they? I wonder if they I wonder if they actually know where I am. This is kind of the nice thing about this armor. I'm buying a little bit of time here. No, they know. Those pecky, pesky little buggers. Oh boy. That's not what we want. We got a big boy after us. Oh, that actually kind of helped me. Not joking, that actually helped me. 40 seconds on, or four seconds on the bomb. I should be able to outrun this. And then up and around. Reset the timer. Grab some ammo along the way. Get some! Get some! I wonder where the Titan went. Okay, the shuttle's landing. This is beautiful. Now I don't have to be in the vicinity anymore if I don't need to be. We got one minute left, though. Where's the Titan at? Is it still following me? I need to get out of here. No more waiting around. We're leaving. Whew. Well, we died, I think, a couple times. But you know what? It's it's not easy. You run out of stamina there, or you get your legs chopped out from one of the those leaping guys. And it's just it's kinda over. Unless you can get a stim off and just keep dodging. It's not happening. But that's Helldivers. Helldivers 2, the max difficulty. It's definitely doable solo, but it's one of those modes, it's one of those challenges I think if you don't have the right gear, you're really going to struggle. That's why I went with the armor that's light, I went with the shield, it was all about the maneuvers, maneuvering around. Only two stars, but you know what, hey, we completed it. We still completed it. I wonder if I should try the automatons next. That's probably not gonna be fun. Solo automatons is probably not fun. I might try it, I might try it. But yeah, if you were ever wondering if a solo is possible on the highest difficulty, it is doable, but it's tough.